Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this session, we will learn how to delete the product. So almost all the things we have completed in the CRUD operations with the MySQL database. So that is nothing but adding the product. We are, we are able to successfully add the product here. So I am adding some random data. So we are able to successfully add the product and we are able to see the view the product. These are all the viewing products using the find all method and single product also find by find by one find by pk we have seen it so primary key or find all we can see or find you can see we can use anything so these are the uh, these are the things we have seen it so and also we have seen the edit product also when i try to edit here it will it will be automatically updated so these are the things are completed now it's time for us to delete the de delete a product when i try to delete this product so you will get you will automatically it will be not deleted why because it is coming from mysql database so let's try to implement that one I go here so where is that one left so here somewhere it will be in the admin in the product control at the bottom it will be yeah post delete product page so there are the for this one also there are two different ways how we can delete the product first method is so i can go here and i will try to do product dot destroy so we got product dot destroy and in this one we need to give a condition so where id is equal to product id that's it so when you provide this one so we are able to successfully de destroy it so it will return a response dot then and here i can do rest dot redirect of slash products i can write it like this or otherwise here dot catch of error console dot log of error so completed now if i go here and if i try to refresh this page and i will try to delete the last one dasd if I click in this one, automatically that one is deleted. If I refresh this page, then also it is deleted. If I go to my MySQL workbench, let's open this MySQL workbench. So MySQL workbench is open. Click on this one, the connection. It will be opening. Yeah, it has opened. So when I try to see this products thing, so let's search. Yeah, here we are having four products here also we are able to see the four products now i will try to delete the last one adasdf if i click on delete automatically this one got deleted if i go to the workbench and here if i try to refresh this page so right now we are having only three so we are able to successfully delete that particular thing now the second uh, the second uh, way of implementation what how we can do is instead of this one so writing like this we can also write product dot find by pk so that means first we need to find whether a product is existing or not so with the product id so when the product is found dot then of product we got the product so when this product is found so you can return product dot destroy so that's it so there is no need to provide any option for this one now you can pro now you will got you will get a uh what i can say you you will get a promise here again destroy so again you can have a promise chaining and in this one you will write so rest dot redirect rest dot redirect of slash products that's it so if any problem comes dot catch error console dot log of error console dot log of error done so here what we are trying to do we are trying to get the product with the product ID details whether the product is existing or not if the product does not exist means we can throw an error such that the product which you are trying to delete does not exist so now if the product is existing means just the sequelize is smart enough that which product i want to destroy there is no need to provide a condition for this one so product dot destroy you just call product dot destroy and this one again returns a promise after successfully destroying deleting that one and here you'll be able to get uh, you can redirect that page to the products let's try to see this one whether it is working or not if i go into this one here if i try to click on the delete let's refresh this page yeah if i try to click on the delete see successfully we are able to delete it so that means using the two methods we are able to delete this one and in the console also you'll be able to see the delete one also delete from products where id is equal to 17 so here we are able to get the option so now what i want to do so now here by this we have successfully completed adding of a product so here we are able to add up a product and uh, i can so we see it is going to the home page here we can redirect to the uh, products page also 
so editing a product so i can successfully edit this product also so edit product is also working and delete the product delete product is also working so this is about the basic uh, query operations how we can do using the sqlize in the mysql database so this is all about this one in the next uh, in the next session onwards we'll try to see about the relations and all those things in the sqlize we'll try to see hope you understood about this deleting of this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you